Hey, Leo. How are y'all doing? Welcome in. Welcome in. Um, I am, this is your weekly Leo. I am thinking about, and you tell me how you feel about this, going to be doing weekly messages for each of the zodiac signs, maybe lightening up on the air, fire, earth, water a little bit. Uh, just see how you like it. Tell me what you want. What do you want to see? So you can make some comments, messages for me um, as to what you'd like to see on the channel. And uh, willing to experiment. Always, you know, this is what's great about a Sag. Willing to experiment. You guys, you guys are right there. Leos are right there. You guys get it. I know you get it. So let's see what's going on for you. This is uh, mid-May. So uh, the 10th through the 17th, ostensibly. Um, we're going to do um, you, the situation, the opportunity, what's coming toward you. And um, in the extended, we'll see how that plays out. We'll get a lot more sense of the storyline. But I just want to show you the situation and what's going on for you. This may or may not resonate. So if, if this doesn't resonate for you, Leo, check out your uh, moon rising or Venus sign. If you're drawn here because of the title, chances are there is a message for you. Okay. All right, let's see. Kind of getting dark, right? Ooh, what did I just see? I just saw the Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> okay. All right. Knight of Wands here. <clears throat> Let's see. Um, somebody is uh, coming and going from your life. You could be, this could be you. Let's see you here. Eight of Cups going. You're going from somebody's strength. There's your card. I like it. You could be walking away from somebody. Sun, yes. Walking away towards happiness. Okay. Uh, let's see. Here's what's coming toward you. King of Pentacles. Woo-ah! All right. King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. Oh, my God, Leo. Remember what I saw underneath that card was Ten of Pentacles, right? This is the situation. If you're... If you're um, you are moving away from something that was once good... And now in your power here. Oof, I love this. Strength card in your power. Another Leo card, Sun. That's the yes card too. That's the opportunity toward happiness. The knights are about taking action. And this is you. You taking action, walking away from something toward something that makes you happy and strong. Could be a Sag. Um, <clears throat> could be Sag, Aries, Leo. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Look at this. King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. That's a real, that's a life partner. The universe has been trying to get this together for a while. Okay. Universe has been trying to get this together. Temperance energy. Six of Wands. Victory. This is good. If you feel like you're walking away from something and you don't know where you're going toward. All right. That's what this feels like to me. Like, you're all alone or you are leaving a relationship, something behind, leaving something behind, leaving something behind, could be an air sign, something that was too much work. Yeah, leaving somebody behind. Something or somebody. Could be a job too. You could be, you know, moving on from a career that was just too much work. <coughs> the new situation is going to be way more stable. The other person could be an air sign. Aquarian energy here, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. It was just so much work for you. Too much work. It was a burden. They could have been a financial burden, okay? Because the Five of Pentacles is there. They could have been a huge financial burden or some kind of financial burden or some kind of thing that was not good anymore. At one time, there was a lot of feeling here. And... You're doing the right thing, in case you're wondering. <laughs> I feel like you're going toward, um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Temperance is the fifth card in this reading. I always think the fifth card, I, my intention is, the fifth card will indicate timing. So, unfortunately, temperance is about being patient. It's like, when it's going to happen, it's going to happen. Um <clears throat> All you need to know right now is you're the one who needs to be 
setting sail because this eight of cups in this deck this is the herbal deck um you're moving on towards something better towards something i feel like you might be single for a while okay you could be single for a while um and you could just be you know in your power in your strength the person you're leaving behind could be somebody who was just very um unreliable they could be unreliable they could be too sharp too cold this new person is going to be very different from that i feel the king of swords and the king of pentacles are very opposite king of pentacles is someone who loves through giving time and patience and nurturing and is um grounded and stable you don't have any questions it's not confusing to you this person also has a lot of money or is has a lot of stability in their own right so if there was a money situation with this other person that doesn't exist anymore, right? You're moving on to get strong in yourself, stable in yourself. And then the right partner shows up. I like that. That's great, Leo. Wow. That is really cool. You're going to have to be patient though, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. So we're going to do an extended read. I'm going to look and see how this comes out. Some guidance for you, a little bit more about the person you're going toward, okay? Okay. All right. Link is below for you. Leo, mid-May. I'll see you over there.